Sure, he'll have a better rounder. A rounder. And, and now what's in the future is Herb and I will be doing a duet album similar to Bakersfield Bound, but a little more emphasis on the more original material and other kinds of material, but it will be done in the country duet style. Back porch. We have two subsidiary labels, uh, Point Blank and Back Blank. So is Bernie uh, he's kind of off on different projects now? Or Bernie, it... I, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. You know, he probably doesn't have to do anything the rest of his life after the Eagles' greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm sure he's doing great, you know. Oh, he's another one that's always been kind of like, he just, it's not so much the money, he just kind of like, whatever he likes doing. Yeah. He's had, he's well, had I mean, the, the Eagles was a very lucrative situation for him and even after he left he didn't have to do anything and go through all that nightmare of touring he just he had some songs on a few of the albums and he did quite well he did well but yeah life's good yeah, i got a little comment from from david I, uh i got an email from david crosby and his basic, basic comment was is that you know you and uh roger were the finest people he's ever played with and mm -hmm. and that he'd do it again if given the opportunity mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think the opportunity is probably passed now. I think so. I don't think Roger really was a bright, smart guy about that. Bright, smart, that's nice language. He, he always, he had that, at one point, 10 years ago, I, I was going, why doesn't he want to go out and do this tour? We have all these wonderful offers. But you know, he was right. I mean, it's like, not even that long ago. It's right after Mike died. I think he said, well, What's the point, you know? Right. You can't recapture something that's already been. Uh, Mike and Gene are gone. What's the point? You know, it, it's not going to be the same. I said, you're right. I finally figured that. I said, you know, he's dead right. Leave it as a great memory. Exactly. You can't bring anything back. And those band reforming, re reformation deals, it's like they last for a little while. They should only be looked at as a one-shot deal. It's never going to be a sustaining career. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, right. I was back one time, and, and the Eagles did real well. I mean, but now I'm, I'm who cares? You know, exactly. They were fine. You know, to me, to me, the band of the 70s wasn't the Eagles. It was Fleetwood Mac. Exactly. They were a wonderful band. Sure. Their songs were great, inventive, unbelievable rhythm section, great singing. I couldn't, I couldn't, the Eagles never, to me, held up. And I always remember my quote. I said, hey. We handed off the ball to them. We, we, we created this thing, and then they came along, and they were real good initially. When they started out, the original four guys, that was the band. Exactly. When they started to become a rock band, I went, oh. oh. They lost it. Yeah, didn't have it. They lost the vision. The first three albums, I mean, were, were great. Yeah, they were terrific. When Bernie left, Randy left, forget it. It was over. But that's personal taste. And oh, exactly. Millions of people would probably stone me if I knew. Oh, yeah, but... To me, it was kind of, it's kind of like Herman and the Hermits and just the Hermits going out with that Herman. I mean, it's... It's, it's silly, isn't it? It's like, yeah. it's like Mike Love and, and, and Bruce Johnson going out as the Beach Boys. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> the other night I went to go... This is ludicrous, Steve, is me going out with the birds. And thank God I never had to tread backwards and, and have to... I wouldn't have done that. I no. would never have done that. I wouldn't have resurrected some dying Lazarus walks again you know it's like it just it's not what it's about you know? okay i i went to a concert the other night i saw brian wilson and paul simon mm -hmm. and my wife had not never seen the, the beach boys i mean she was kind of saying well she said this is about as close as i'll get to the beach boys would you know something he wrote them yeah and he sounds you know he sounds okay and he was mixing it with the new stuff uh and then i saw paul simon and there's some somebody that i i really admire had a big career, but I was very disappointed at the, the later stuff he's been doing. Yeah. It was almost like like rambling to me, and I... It's pretty tough, you know. It's when pretty you, tough. You have, well, you have this moment in time where you can really peak, and if you can maintain a pretty good level, you'll never maintain that particular level, but if you, you know, can go along and... Uh, and have a nice career. It's a very, it's, it's a big crapshoot, this whole thing, you know, you never know. And uh, if you can go along and sustain a nice career, you're never going to reach that peak. No. That one moment, that 15 minutes, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and Brian is probably, a lot of my friends went and saw that, and it's, it's sad because this poor man is sick and he's got Parkinson's disease, you know, and 
and but he, he what he did was brilliant yeah brilliant in the 60s as was every time i hear chuck berry what a brilliant lyricist he was but can i don't want to hear chuck berry now no don't want to see him i don't want to see brian wilson now i don't want to see the birds reform now. no there it is um and i gotta hand it to mcguinn he knew and he was adamant about refusing to do it and we would get all upset cross and wow well, he's out there doing the birds songs in his show he has every right to he was exactly a he had that essence of it we were his wing as Crosby said we were his wingmen you know we, we flew support to the to the main bomber there <laughs> that's a good analogy but you know there it is and, and um yeah i'm with you i i don't have no no desire to go and see and it's, and it's like i say it's just it's just um <laughs> I was talking to him this morning about uh, his timing. I mean, the, the, the do the folk, the folk din thing. Yeah. He just, you know, he, he just wanted to strip down all the rock and roll trappings. And that's where he comes from. He's doing what he's enjoying. Exactly. This is what he loves to do. I'm doing what I'm enjoying to do. I love doing this kind of stuff. I do acoustic stuff. I work when I want to. Yeah, I like to work a little more. But you know what? I don't want to be away from my kids right. that much. I miss so many of my kids' birthdays and stuff. I went, this is going to. I'm not going to my family comes first. But hey, I'm really lucky. I get to make records. Roger does what he does. He's a very good on stage. He's a constant showman. He's an interesting guy. He's doing what he's enjoying. Why shouldn't he? And everybody's exactly. I mean, Roger and David are closing in on 60. I'm about two years, three years behind him. Why shouldn't they do it? David's having a good time with his son, who's a real sweetheart, that kid. And oh, yeah. Jeff Pebar's a nice guy. He's got a something he's doing that he enjoys. Exactly. And there it is, and we've earned that right. And what if we don't have mass audience appeal, who cares? What are we doing? Are we, are we bowing to pressure from some unknown forces to do this? And the one time, Steve, the one time that I listened to MCA Records with the Desert Rose was the, was the worst record we ever made, True Love. And I listened to Tony Brown, and Tony's a great producer, but we lost our edge. We lost our vision. It was over. That was it. I'm not blaming him at all. I'm blaming myself. Just, just you know, that was 10 years ago. Who cares? That already happened. I exactly. Exactly got. And so now I look back. I go, hey, I'm a real lucky kid. I got to play in all these great bands. I'm alive. Everything works. <laughs> I got a great family. And it's not over. Exactly. And I just, but, you know, and I don't take anything for granted. I just kind of say, well, this is terrific. I'll do this or I'll do that. There's not too much I want out of life. I think I'd like to have a Grammy someday. If somebody said, to me, was there something you really want? Yeah, I'd like to have a Grammy. I'd like to have McGuinn. I'd like to see Roger get a Grammy. David's got a couple. Yeah, but you know something? I, mean, you I, mean, I think Roger and I, I would like to see McGuinn and I get Grammy. And we've come real close. We came really close. We were actually nominated for, um, gosh, you ain't going nowhere when we did it for the Nitty Gritty. Right. And, 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 uh, came close on that one. Yeah, we almost came, got that. Then we... I know we're up for a couple of awards, country music or something, but if I don't get one, it's okay, too. You know what I'm saying? But you're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, hey. Hey, no problem. You know, no I'm problem there. I'm lucky. I was, I was the bass player. I got to do that. Terrific. You know, that's, that's an accomplishment. And here's the best part of the story. We were the only guys that I'm, I'm positive I'll bet money because every band that gets inducted barely speaks to each other. Right. Well, you know, Aerosmith got inducted. They're still functioning. Right. The birds sat down together, we all sat together, we went up there together as gentlemen, we accepted our awards and gave little talks, and we played together. Now, that's the closure of the birds. Exactly. I couldn't ask for a better thing, because within months, Gene uh, Mike died, Gene died, and Mike died, it was a nightmare. I was really upset me when Mike died. It upset me when Gene died, too, but it just was, uh, you know, guys are in their 40s, uh -huh. and when we were sitting at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame dinner. I mean, you know, Mike was, had the drinking and Gene was, had the shakes. And I was like, ah, oh, these poor guys. And, you know, I loved them dearly. And it was just sad because I had seen too many, uh, too many people, uh, Graham, you name it. And uh, what a waste. You know what I mean? A waste of time. And Clarence, God bless him, died at the hands of someone else. It's a total accident. We were robbed because he was such a brilliant musician. Right. But anyway, the best.